Hey guys, it's Tater Tot. Welcome back to more Bomberman Hero. Uh, we're just about to fight Nitros, I believe, so we're gonna just jump right into it. How's everybody doing today? Everybody doing great? I don't think uh, Princess Millie is doing so great. The little feet sounds. I've missed them. Those swords in the background? Oh, I'm sorry. They're being pinned to the wall. Rescue the princess. I, you know, I don't understand. You know, he's just able to walk right in. I don't, I don't really understand how that's how that's possible. He keeps doing it. This time I'll rescue. The, are you sure about that? <laughs> how many times has this happened so far? See, even she knows. She's like, man, I'm so boned right now. All right, let's rock and roll. Uh oh, he's got some shields. So it's pretty obvious. There are three shields. You have to destroy them before you can actually get to him. I don't think that really needs a whole lot of explanation! Oh! Oh, I got that one. It was good. You still have a time limit like before. Oh, I'm... For those of you wondering, it has been a little while since I've played this game. I'm not making up excuses, I'm just saying. It's been a while. <laughs> no thank you. Oh, goodness. So now he drops a bomb. Oh, predicted! What are you gonna do about that, son? Oh, come on. I only have one bomb! Oh, there it is! I have a bad feeling that we're not gonna make the, the score requirement for this one. Okay, controller. I need you, buddy. There it is. I bet it's 6,500. We can do it. God, no! Maybe it's 6,000? I'm hoping! I'm praying! Oh, he kicked it! Oh, jeez! There it is. Oh! <laughs> Watch it be 6,000. Watch it be 6,000. I have hope. Ah! <laughs> Dang it. I did it! Oh, I had a feeling it wasn't 6,000. I was hopeful, though. I'm ca- Whoa! Buddy! Not the time for this. Not the time at all. What? Is it, what? Princess? This is most heinous. Well, well kind of jacked that all up, but you know what? We're just going to move on for now. Ho oh, ho! He going from I'm coming Princess Million to hard coaster. Let's, let's, I, I don't want to say it, but I was going to say let's ride the hard coaster, but you know what? Let's just move on. <laughs> Some things are better left unsaid. Okay, so it's extremely sandy. Oh, sandy. Okay, so we're moving on. There's tons of sand, and this is an extremely boring level because you're just like riding these platforms for nine tenths of the level. And then, and you can, see, as you can see, they don't move very quickly. And sometimes you gotta jump down there to the uh, to the warps. And there are multiple paths to take. It's... oh, it's bad. But we're gonna soldier on. So I hope everybody's having a good day so far. Uh, I'm having a pretty good day. Uh, wife and I just recently got our combatives belt, or we just qualified to receive our combatives belt. And it takes a while to receive them, so... It's kind of waiting at this point. Okay. Getting some frame rate issues. Bomb him, you bastard! Okay. Oh, <laughs> uh, there's a glove icon. We haven't seen that before. That'd be interesting. I for Whoa! I was about to say, I forget what this does. I, I remember now. <laughs> Needless to say. Uh, it causes you to throw your bombs really, really far. Which can be nice. In situations like these, but I feel like it's kind of just a gimmick. It's just like, oh, here's a here's a power up that allows you to throw your bombs really far. And it's just like, but is that really necessary? And no, it's not really necessary. Of course, it's necessary if you want a good score. But it'll probably say here. Oh, what? Why would you tell me that? I thought we already knew that. I'm gonna jump. Oh, here we go. So occasionally, you're gonna want to jump down here and hit some warps so you can go back to previous parts of the level. I'm gonna sneeze. Oh god. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Goodness. 
That was, uh, that was pretty intense. Huh. But yeah, once you get this power up, it's gonna screw you over a lot. You're gonna be like, oh, I'm gonna hit this, and you're gonna just completely botch it. You're like, oh god, now what do I do? You're right next to something, and if you throw a bomb, it's gonna blow up in your face. Just like all your well-laid plans, just blown up in your face. Okay, controller. Controller, no. You've you've done it. He's done it. Oh no. Here, I'm just gonna do this. Yeah, there we go. Oh, did you see it? Did you see that? I recognize that I could have jumped over there, but I needed these uh I needed these gems first. So, I don't know. I'm, you know, I have a whole lot of side projects going on too. Like, obviously, I'm still playing Fire Emblem Heroes, but it's kind of, it's kind of waned a little bit because, like, little waned. <laughs> because there's not a lot going on right now, so I don't really see a reason to play a whole lot. I know I haven't uploaded anything in a while. I just have so much crap going on right now with the vacation that my wife and I just got back from, and. We were testing for jujitsu and work and a whole bunch of stuff. I just haven't had time. Something I'm learning a lot is that sometimes you just don't have time. But I need, I'll, I'll be working a little bit more on that to try and uh, get more uploads out there and get more gameplay to you guys. But I'm also, another reason why I haven't been playing a whole lot of Fire Emblem Heroes is because I've been playing a lot of Fire Emblem Echoes Shadows of Valentia. Uh, for those of you who don't know, it's a remake of the second Fire Emblem game, otherwise known as Fire Emblem Gaiden, and I, it, it's been overdue for a long time. It's one of the it's one of the games that a lot of people feel has been underrepresented in the series, and people are just sick and tired of Marth. <laughs> but it's the story. It's Alm's game, Alm and Celica. So, for those of you playing Fire Emblem Heroes, and you're wondering where Alm, Celica, Lucas, Faye, Mei, Bowie, Jenny, all those characters are coming from, that's where they're coming from. It's Fire Emblem Gaiden. Technically, I mean, it, Jenny wasn't in, no, Faye wasn't in Fire Emblem uh, Gaiden, but they put her in Fire Emblem Echoes. I'm not exactly sure what the reasoning for that was. But, I don't really mind. Anyway, game is a lot of fun. Tons of fun, actually. Uh, it goes back to the roots of the Fire Emblem franchise, which a lot of fans have been, you know, really wanting recently. A lot of fans have been aching for a re-envisioning of the second Fire Emblem game. Which I think this... I think it's done pretty well, honestly. Did my power-up disappear? It did! I didn't even notice! Oh, did I pick up something that canceled it out? Also, shit. Okay. Oh, there's a switch down here. I didn't even. I must have picked something up that canceled out the uh, the long throw. Which, <laughs> if I was maybe paying a little bit more attention to the game and hadn't been talking so much about Fire Emblem Echoes, then this might not have happened. So I think we now have to wait. <laughs> this is dumb. Because I think that one comes around and lands here, but I'm not seeing the platform for some reason. Uh, maybe I just gotta be patient? I don't know. Starting to uh, worry a little bit. Oh, nope, there it is, okay. But anyway, uh, really good, uh, a really big departure Fire Emblem Echoes is from the, from the rest of the modern Fire Emblem games. In so much that, you know, it's not Waifu Emblem, as many people will be quick to point out. Uh, the one of the biggest changes is they've uh, done away with the the uh, weapon triangle, which is which would throw a lot of you know you know long-term fans of the franchise off, unless they've played a lot of Gaiden, I suppose, because Gaiden also did not have a weapon triangle, which was interesting. But there's, I mean, you can tell it's an older game that's being re revisioned and not a new one because the. Uh, Enemy layouts and maps in general are just a little bit weird. 
And I say a little bit weird because it's just like, oh hey, we ran into this group of enemies and it's just one big long line of cavaliers. <laughs> it's kind of funny actually. But anyway, uh, I don't know if I can make that jump. I'm gonna give it a shot. Oh, he missed it. That's no big deal. I'll run into something along the way. It would have been that, but uh, yeah, I messed that up. Uh, actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna slow play this actually, and just take my time here. Wait for the thing to come back down. I'm actually further away from it than I want to be. No, I'm not gonna make it. That's cool. No big deal. I'll just warp. No big deal. Uh, but yeah, I've put in I've put in way more time into that game than I have into either this or ukulele. And I apologize for not uh, uploading footage of that. I don't have a 3DS capture card. And if you didn't already have a 3DS capture card, it is insanely difficult to get one. And there's not really a whole lot of options to capture 3DS footage than to have a 3DS capture card installed, which requires, and I, and I may be uh, misunderstanding the entire process, but I'm going to try and explain it the best I can. Uh, it requires me to actually ship my entire device to to Japan to have it work. Oh, God damn it! Uh, I have to have it shipped to Japan, have them modify it, to add a capture card to it, and once the capture card has been added, then it's shipped back to me, and then I can do it. And then I can, you know, stream it through. Uh, I can stream it. I think. I'm pretty sure it has a capture software set up, so I just have to plug it directly into the uh, into my graphics card, and then I'm ready to go. Don't quote me on that. But, yeah. Uh, it costs a lot of money to do that. And because the 3DS is kind of on its way out, I'm sort of anxious to do that. I mean, I don't know if I'm alone in that, but I'm kind of anxious to send them my 3DS. I mean, the thing's really old, and I can't really see it lasting terribly much longer. Or, the console itself. Not my console, I'm talking about the console life itself. Probably won't last much longer. So, if I wait, I can maybe, uh, get it at a reduced price or something because the... because it's, I don't know, obsolete? It's kind of my game plan right now. Granted, it's not much of a game plan, but... I mean, there's a bunch of DS games that I would love to stream or to record. A um, bunch of, in my opinion, games that are underappreciated or underrepresented. But I just... <laughs> I'm not gonna spend that much money for a console that's on its way out. What is it gonna be replaced with? I'm not really sure. And is it being replaced again? Not entirely certain, but you can... It's been a long time since the 3DS made its debut. I mean, hell, it's been since college for me, which... I mean, granted, it hasn't been a terribly long time, but... Long enough. Yeah, I didn't do it. Last one's here. And then I'm gonna have to jump into that far... That back right one to go up there and get that ADOG bomb. This little thing in here, if you're not paying attention. This will warp you to here, yeah. You jump on here, get the extra life, and you're golden. God, this this level takes forever! It's like a 15 minute level for God's sake. It's terrible. But yeah, anyway, if you're a huge fan of the Fire Emblem series, I would highly recommend Echoes. Definitely to get the lore and understanding of the second game in the series. I mean, it's been there's a lot of stuff that's been redone with it. But anyway, that was Hard Coaster, and yes, it was about 15 minutes. Ugh, I'm so sorry. But anyway, Dark Maze, not Dark Prison, Maze. Okay, so this this level's a little bit more, uh, a little bit scary, and it's got a little bit of a of a gimmick to it as well. If your controller screws you up, this could be one of those levels you really regret going to. But anyway. So you see back in the back left, I'll, uh, I'll circle it for, for everybody who can't, you know, see a, a rotating item in the background. That's a salt bomb. And what it does is it doesn't do damage to regular enemies, but it damages 
and kills slugs. I know what you're thinking, slugs? Those guys back there. So... Normal bombs don't damage the slugs, but salt bombs do. Salt bombs don't damage regular enemies, but regular bombs do. Does that make any sense? So the whole, the whole gimmick here is that you want to go as far into the... You can do it any number of ways, but the way I like to do it is I like to go through the whole level, destroy all the regular enemies first, using a regular bomb, and then pick up a salt bomb, uh, a salt bomb power up and finish out the level. The reason I do it that way is because you have the ability to soft toggle, I guess is the might be the appropriate term to use here, to soft toggle between a salt bomb and a regular bomb by picking up one of the two power ups. So if you pick up a salt bomb power up, you uh, you can use salt bombs, but if you pick up the regular bomb power up, you pick up reg you start using regular bombs again. And the most annoying thing that could possibly happen in this level is that you're going through the level regularly, and you miss one enemy that can only be destroyed with a regular bomb, and you don't have any regular bomb pickups, so you just you just you're screwed in essence. So, that's kind of why I like to do it this way. It's a little bit longer, but it ensures that I don't, you know, screw up catastrophically. But it's a pretty, it's a pretty clever little level, I think. Got some interesting, it's got an interesting feel to it. We're gonna go ahead and pick up this salt bomb. I think I've cleared out the level as much as I need to. You see, it just releases a cloud of salt. A weird concept, isn't it? A salt bomb? It's weird. The fact that they came up with that is a little strange. Maybe they just created a, a slug enemy and were like, crap, now I gotta find a way to actually kill it. I'll take that damage, I'm not really worried about it. I'd rather take the damage and make the jump than, <sighs> than have to sit there and try and time it. And I don't think you can time it? Controller. Jeez. This level's had me worried for a while, actually. I've been thinking about this level and how my controller's been acting up a little bit. And I'm just worried because it's gonna screw me. Like, I'll be walking in one direction and then it'll just... You know, it'll just shoot me in the other direction right off the... Right off the, right off the side of the level. I really don't want that, but I can just feel it. I feel it happening already. See, this is... this is the part of the game where it just slows down to a crawl because you don't know where all the enemies are. You have to go one step at a time to find them all. Might be a bit of a pain. i jump across here. I don't know if there are any slugs up here. There are. I'm not even sure. This might be like a 3000 level, honestly. I think it might be. One of those that you can get more points than are actually in the level. I could be totally wrong about that. I could be BSing you guys, but I have a feeling that's what it is. Um, I'm really not certain there's anything left in the level, actually. I think I'm just gonna move on. I'm just gonna catch a ride on this bad boy here. I'm gonna jump straight to the exit. Uh, I have a bad feeling. Nah, no, it's cool. There's two slugs up here. Never mind, it is 3,500. Yeah, you want to end with salt because of these guys right here, and then you're done. Of course you get the ADOC bomb, yada yada yada. So I think we have time for one more level, and it's Mad Coaster. A lot of coasters here, so we're just gonna rock it. Was it? No, it was Power Rangers in Space. I'm sorry. I got... I, I kind of ADD'd there for a second. I said, we're just gonna rock it, and that made me think about, you know, somebody saying, let's rock it, and that made me think of Power Rangers in Space. <laughs> it's kind of a weird thing to do, I'm sorry. I know that's probably throwing a lot of you off guard a little bit, but I can kind of do that sometimes, or I'll just be, I'll just be talking and then I'll just trail off in some, on some random topic like Power Rangers. My conversations with uh, friends and family can kind of go a bit awry. I need to grab that, there we go. Speaking of Power Rangers, anybody see that Power, that new Power Rangers movie? I loved it, that was great. There was, a, there was some stuff about it that I was just like, mm, I don't buy it. But by and large, I thought it was a good movie. Also saw King Arthur. Uh, King Arthur uh, put the name of the subtitle below. 
because there's a note <laughs> at the bottom of the screen because I can't honestly can't remember what the the second part of the title was. I really can't. Oh crap, there's more slugs. So same thing happens here that happened in the previous level. There are slugs. Oh, another part of this level that's interesting. Uh, there is a block that you can destroy in this level that will cause you to not be able to 100% to not be able to get a 5. And many times in my life have I destroyed that block and instantly regretted it. Because then you gotta go through the coaster section again and blah 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 and it's a big pain in the ass. Oh, come on. Here we go. Anyway, I don't know. The, 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 the new Power Rangers movie was pretty awesome. Being a huge fan of, of Power Rangers myself from since I was a kid. This is the block I was referring to, by the way. If you destroy this block, you can't jump up here. Unless you do some kind of craziness. I'm sure there's something you can do. But here's the salt bomb. That's why I went right and not left. Because I knew the salt bomb was here. Did I... I may not have wanted to do that. I don't know. Uh, I had, no, I'm pretty sure I didn't want to do that. I'll probably regret it later. It's okay. Did I pick up a bomb power-up at some point? Could either cut back... No. I don't remember if there's something in there. Ah, oh, jeez. Salt bombs, dude. The bane of my existence! Although, I don't know, I don't want to talk about spoilers of the Power Rangers movie, but they took a lot of liberties with it that were a little weird, and I don't really believe that there were... that a lot of that stuff is canon. I mean, let's be honest though, what in Power Rangers is canon anymore? I have a feeling there was a bomb power-up at some point, and I wanted to pick it up, and I actually accidentally picked it up at some point. Well, <laughs> remember that whole instant regret thing I was talking about earlier? Right about now, I am a dumbass. Uh, now I gotta go and navigate this minefield of dudes, of uh, water molecules. Instant regret. I don't know. Did I pick up a bomb power up at some point? I, I really don't know. Uh, regardless. At some point, I will. Oh, okay. Guy, you're, you're freaking me out. Maybe there's a bomb power up at the end. That would be awesome. I would really appreciate that. Though, I have a feeling there's just a dude that's gonna shoot jimmies at me. Yep. Is there a bomb power up over here? Be up on the roof? The roof? The roof is on fire? You died to salt? No, please. No. Damn it. <laughs> I'll have to off screen that. Get that five. There I go, talking about, you know, oh, no, don't forget to get that, you know, to avoid that salt bomb until you finish the level, and then I do exactly the opposite. Such is life, I suppose. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked or disliked this video, you know what to do. Uh, if you really enjoyed this video, consider subscribing for more content like this. Uh, also, sharing with your friends and family, and with various social media outlets. Anyway, I've been Tater Tot. You have been awesome. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.